Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Charisma. In this video, we will talk about state management that maybe you have not heard before. If you're a React or React Native developer, you probably heard about Redux, but Redux can be quite complicated and pretty hard to debug. So if you're tired using Redux, let me introduce you to Zustan. Yeah, as you can see here, I already created some project React Native, and then in this in this screen, uh, as you can see, it's pretty clean, right? Now let's try to navigate to the screen to the name still Charisma. What if I change the name to Lorem Ipsum? It changed Lorem Ipsum, and and then I back to screen one. It's already changed to Lorem Ipsum. It's a state management that I created from just then. And then what if I want to fetch data? I just need to call this function get list post and then click this button and voila it's already get the data from the api all the functionality i put inside the just 10 so this just then can make you uh, make your screen is pretty uh, more pretty clean and then you can also create custom hooks like custom hook like uh, get list post and change name or anything uh, you don't need to create create uh, same state in, in your screen so you can just put all of this state in just then so without any further ado let's get started all right the first thing that you need to do is install just then open your terminal and type yarn at just then or if you're using npm, just type npm install just then. It takes a minute for installing just then. You can wait until the installation finish. After installation finish, uh, if you are using iOS or Mac OS, you can type cd iOS and pod install. You need to install on your pod file. And then it also takes a minute to installing on pod file. All right, after finish install on iOS file, that's it for installation. Pretty easy, right? You don't need to set up on your app TSX or index.js file like Redux. As I say before, uh, just then it's more easier and pretty easy to understand and for installation. Now, what we need to do is create just then file and then just create just then file first the ts and then we're gonna create interface for our data for example i'm gonna create interface user profile for name string age number address string and then i'm gonna create this is the file export cons use account you can name it whatever you want but in this example, we're gonna create for account file. So I'm gonna create for use account. We need to import create from Zestan and then add bracket interface user profile function set. That's it. Now we're gonna add default value for our data for our interface for example name i'm gonna add default value my name charisma and for age i'm gonna put 25 and for address i'm gonna put indonesia so yeah that's it for the system file now we go to screen one we need to import cons use account and then we import this name, age, and address. You can just put right here, name, age, address. Press save, and yeah. Oh, sorry, I have, I um, forget to run my application okay i just finished my to run my application so as you can see here my name is charisma and i'm 25 i live in indonesia but if i want to change my default value you can just change it to rg or something like that it's already changed 
okay back to navigate to screen 2 for the screen 2 we're still using static we need to import as well the screen 2 by use account and name okay name charisma is globally and then you can use this uh this data or this name for every screen on your application the question is how can we change the name or we can change the value of name it's simple we just need to add create a function change name void and put parameter string and then put inside uh, inside this then change name name string set name to name oh, I think get a new name so you will not confuse all right and then I put the function to use account change name and then put on this on press change name to lorem ipsum all right so name is still charisma what and then i'm gonna change to lorem ipsum it changed to lorem ipsum what if i navigate to screen 2 it's already changed to lorem ipsum so every screen on for data name is changed to lorem ipsum okay we can also create custom hooks using this time uh, by create function for example get list post and then void and then i think i'm gonna add some loading boolean and then get list post is the data from the api id number title string and body string that's array okay now we're gonna add loading false and list post default value is empty array and for the get list post we're gonna create asynchronous function now we need to set our logic here loading to true and then type const result equal await i'm using axios in this section if you have not installed axios you can just install axios axios get for uh, i using json placeholder example for this video so you can just uh, search on google json placeholder and then after this we're gonna set loading to false and list post is result dot data we press save and then we go to the screen one import the loading get list post and list post all right now we need to create a list post data by list post dot map value return view text title value dot title and then we copy this body value dot body and then we're gonna add style by margin top 10 and we're gonna add key value dot id all right so 
uh, the list post has not uh, rendered yet because we have not get the data from the API. What we need to do is use this function on press get list post and save it. Press get list data and yeah, we get the data. To make more realistic, I think we need to add some like loading. So we're gonna add loading and we're gonna render view style styles dot loading loading ah we already have this one this one is styles for loading padding five and align item center just even center and marking top center we're gonna add activity indicator size large and color orange so we can refresh our application and then try to get list data voila now we can get list data as you can see here our screen is pretty clean and there is no lot of function right here because we already separate the function inside just then so yeah that's it for the tutorial just then if you have any question you can just comment right under below on the comment section or you can ask me on email or instagram me i already put my instagram on the description that's it for me thank thank you for everything uh, and then don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel it helped me a lot so See you on the next video. Bye-bye.